Hi, my name is Brian. I'm a web and graphics specialist. And today, I'm going to show you how to create vertical gradient lines using CSS. So right now, I have opened up a web browser. You can use whatever you want. I recommend Firefox. That's what I have open over here. And I'm loading two local files from my local machine. I have an index.html file. It's opened up in any text editor. And I have an external style sheet right here, which is named style.css. I'm linked to it right here in the header of my HTML file. OK, so as you can see, I have one div right here in my document that has a vertical gradient. Um, you can use various different declarations for different web browsers to declare vertical gradients that will work for every browser. Um, using CSS3, which is not compatible with all browsers, you can do this a lot easier. But since that's not been implemented with everything, we're going to work with the old version where we specify different browsers. So I have one created right here already. And I'm just going to create another one just to show you how it's done. So in my body, I'm going to create another div. Uh, I'm going to give it a class of my div2 and gradient bg2. Okay. If I hit Save and Refresh, there should be nothing, because I have not declared anything in the CSS yet. So let's declare some CSS rules right down here in our style sheet. Um, so first, let's create my div 2. Uh, when you're working with classes, make sure you use a period before the class name. So period my div 2. Uh, and then I'll just give it a width of 100 pixels, a height of 400 pixels and a border of one pix solid and black. OK, so if I save that and refresh, you should see your div. Uh, let me just move it over so you can see it. Margin left 300 pixels. OK, so now we're going to just copy this code right here. and paste it below. And I'll explain these declarations. I'm going to give this a gradient BG of 2. All right, so the first thing you're going to set is your background color. You can set that to whatever you want. I have it as a blue. Um, that's going to be overwritten once you set a gradient. But if your gradient winds up not working, at least it'll fall back to this color. It's the same thing with a background image. You can set a background image uh, of a gradient that repeats um, and if your declarations for your gradient down here don't work, it'll fall back to the image. If the image doesn't work, it'll fall back to the, the standard color. Um, the way these background image gradients work is there are special prefixes for different browsers. So we have dash WebKit, dash gradient. Um, these, these two work for WebKit browsers like Safari. Uh, then we have dash Moz, dash linear, dash gradient which works for Mozilla browsers like Firefox. And then we have MS, which stands for um, Internet Explorer browsers, and O, which stands for Opera. Now, you have to specify each browser because every browser renders the code differently. Uh, the next part of, of each rule is where you want the gradient to come from. So we're going to select top because we want a vertical gradient. And then a comma. And then you set the top color, and then a comma, and then the bottom color. So it's pretty easy if you just fill in the blanks there. Um, but just make sure that you delineate the correct browser rule for whatever browser you might be using. All right, so that's it. That's how you create a vertical gradient uh, using CSS. My name is Brian, and thanks for watching.